What's up guys? It's Nomad Nick here for another video about Kratom. Hope everybody is doing well. I know it's been a while since I last posted, sorry about that. I've been preoccupied with a number of different things, which if we have time, I'll get into at the end of the video. Hope you stick around. If you're a new subscriber, appreciate you. Existing subscribers, how you doing? And today, what I wanted to talk about is the the whys behind uh, behind addiction, and in particular kratom and kratom. Seems like I have an audience that that appreciates some advice um, and and kind of my story and and how I got through the addiction with kratom. And I think it all comes down to mindset, okay? And I talked about this before, but maybe not the specifics. So if you think about why you do anything and why you keep doing it, and then eventually why you change your mind about doing it or continue to do it, it all comes down to the reason, the reason why. All right, so think about why you picked up Kratom in the first place or whatever substance it is that you that you do. For me, it was it was work. I was traveling. I lived in Indiana at the time and it was illegal in Indiana, but when I was traveling for work, I I heard of it on the Joe Rogan podcast and I wanted to try it because I think Joe Rogan was talking about how it was like you know, caffeine, a stimulant. And so I thought it would be good because I'm in sales to help me, uh, you know, be, be more alert and be able to to talk um, to talk better. I guess just help me in selling. And to be fair, it did. Um, I didn't actually get hooked on it until I moved to Washington State because it was legal in Washington State. It was not in Indiana. And so why did I pick it up? I picked it up because I have a tendency to like, I, I had a tendency to like to escape. I mean, I still do, but I, I don't give into those desires anymore. Um, it helped me, it did help me in sales. And I liked how it was natural and it didn't make me like, you know, it's not like getting drunk or it's a different kind of buzz, a different kind of high, I guess. And so I enjoyed it. Um, and I kept using it because I justified it well with, with you know work, like I need it to be successful in work. And ultimately, all the reasons why you justify keep using a substance are lies. It doesn't matter how good the lie sounds, it's, it's a lie. You don't need any type of substance whatsoever. Um, and why did I end up quitting? Because I got sick of it. And there's so many negatives that are attached to using Kratom and really any substance. Same reason why I got you know rid of nicotine in my life. I was sick and tired of it. I got angry about it. Kratom was destroying my life. Um, and so was nicotine. And I couldn't get to the next level of where I wanted to be without dropping those two substances. Now, this might sound like a catch-22, um, but that's how simple it is, you know? Identify, like, it's all about mindset and identifying what, what you need to do to get to the next stage of your life, the next level that you're supposed to be on. Doesn't matter how old you are. So, you know, think, think back, think about your story. Like, why'd you pick it up? Why do you keep using it? And why, why quit? The status quo of what you're doing now cannot be better than in your mind what you want to change to. I'm in sales, right? So, and I'm a new business account executive. And so it's always about changing, making them making them understand and believe 
and agree that changing to something new, my solution, is better than what they're doing today, the status quo. And that's all it comes down to. Like, you need to truly believe because it takes a lot of effort. And that's, that's what, you know, in sales, if somebody's gonna change to a new solution and start doing their process a different way, it takes a lot of effort. And so the vision of what that's gonna be like after they make the switch, after they make the decision to move forward with the change, um, it's gotta be, they gotta, they gotta be really sold on it, right? And so you have to sell yourself on why changing and not using that substance anymore is going to be a lot better than continuing your life the way it is. So I hope this helps. Um, yeah, I mean, in regards to, here's the, the roll to end credits here. In regards to what I've been up to, um, I've been talking to a girl. I have been under a lot of pressure at work because obviously the economy sucks right now and they're doing layoffs at my company probably at the end of the quarter. They already started with a, a few people and I don't even know why um, a few people got let go, which is extra scary. So like, I don't know what's gonna happen. You know, I've got bills just like everybody else and I'm uh, trying to keep it together, trying to get through this, this tough time that we're in. So I hope everyone is well out there and I'll be back soon with another video. Thanks for staying tuned. Talk to you soon.